What's up? This is Yuda, aka Sidebrain. It's been a while since I did a video for Sidebrain.net because I've been busy with my school uh, BitLab, but it's time for another tutorial. So this is a workflow hack for using multi-sample drums like the free empty power drum kit or commercial ones like uh, contact drummers or uh, BFD3, addictive drums or even a superior drummer. Now, all these plugins are using a predetermined drum layout called uh, General MIDI or GM. Uh, and if you are familiar with General MIDI, you can immediately tell where is the kick, where is the snare, where is the hi-hats, toms and other drum elements. Uh, in fact, when hovering over one of uh, the pads of a drum rack, down in the command line, you will see the GM suggestion or the General MIDI uh, suggestion. If you have an old keyboard with a bunch of sounds, the last group of sounds is probably drum kits. These kits are also arranged uh, with General MIDI. Now, if I drop uh, like two kicks into the drum rack, let's say this and this, I'm also going to rename the pads, command R, kick one and kick two. If I'm going to create a MIDI clip, I'm going to see only those two MIDI notes, only those two MIDI notes with the uh, names of the pads. If I'm going to go and use one of these uh, plugins and I'm going to start sequencing it using a MIDI clip, it's going to display all the notes and I'm just going to have to remember the general MIDI or just listen to the sounds and tell where they are. But instead we can fool the MIDI clip with this type of plugins to display this is a, a rack that I made with the same plugin. And if I create a clip, it shows me all the different uh, drum elements on the right. Much easier to work. Okay, nice. So I, I left a preset, this preset um, uh, download link, the, the video description. But uh, let me show you how to set this up uh, if you want to use it on any plugin. So I'm going to create a new MIDI track. And let's use a contact for that. Actually, we already have it loaded up here. Let's use this. So I have contact. Um, I'm going to click on contact and I'm going to group it into an instrument rack. Open up the chain list and drop an empty drum rack here. Now we're going to use the external instrument for this. So I'm going to drop the external instrument on one of the pads. And this one, first one, is going to be kick. Let's call it kick. I'm going to send MIDI to uh, the instrument rack on track number two. We can even delete these ones just so it's more clear. So I'm going to send it to the instrument track. It's already selecting contact. Excellent. And it's triggering the kick. Good. Now I'm going to copy this pad by holding option and drag it to the next one. And this one is the same. And if I click it, also trigger the kick. But now we want this, if we look at the general MIDI suggestion, that's the side stick. Now we need to go and open up the chain list of the drum rack, show the inputs outputs. Now by default, all the pads in the drum rack are sending out the note C3. So we need to change the note of the side stick to whatever note the pad is on. So it should be a C sharp one. And also here we're actually triggering a different type of kick. So let's put it on C1 so it triggers the actual first type of kick. Excellent. And now we can continue. Copy this. This is snare. Take this. Click on it. Up arrow key. We're good to go. Next is a snare alt. Click this. Up arrow key. Nice. And you can continue and add in all of them and then simply saving it as a preset. That's all you need to do. Now, if I'm going to create a MIDI clip, it's only going to show me those pads. Excellent. So that's the trick. Hope you find it useful. Catch you next time.